Hello. So in this video, I'm going to give a quick overview of the Emon CMS heat pump dashboard. Um, I've got this dashboard here showing my own home system. It's um, it's a it's a five kilowatt Mitsubishi EcoDan connected air source heat pump connected to a low temperature radiator system and a heat pump hot water cylinder. The heat pump dashboard is available under the um, apps menu here um, inside Emon CMS and it can be created by clicking on uh, new here and then selecting uh, the my heat pump dashboard from, from the list. The first view here shows the daily electricity consumption and heat uh, output over, um, over the last 30 days. We can see the overall COP for the window here at the bottom and we can also hov hover over each individual day uh, to see the daily total. So below that we have the sort of to total all-time um, history, so the total all-time electricity consumption, heat output, and COP. Um, we can also click on all-time here to see uh, see that on a daily basis. So we've got the so that we can then see, for example, um, what the consumption was in the in uh, February here on the on the day that used the most energy. So now we can click on a particular day to bring up the detailed view for that day. So I'm going to click here on a day in May. So we can see now the flow and return temperatures for the heat pump. This is it doing a, a hot water heat up here and this is just space heating in between. The electricity input in um, so this is the electricity input in watts and this is the heat output in, in watts as well. And then this uh, sort of bluish line is the outside temperature. The COP for the selected period is again shown here at the bottom. And we can zoom in on a particular period to see the COP for that specific period. So I'll, for example, zoom in on this um, hot water heat up cycle so that's a COP of 4.2 you can also zoom in and out as much as you'd like so you can uh, for example click on month here and we'll go right um, we can zoom right out like that and then we can zoom back in on a particular on a single heat up there So below this this uh, detailed graph, there's a section called Show Detail here. You can open, and this um, essentially gives you some uh, additional statistics for the view. Um, this can be useful to find, say, the average flow temperature, which is here. The, the average flow temperature there was 38, and the average return temperature was 32. Finally, at the um, bottom here there's a little um, a little section a new tool um, that can be quite useful if you haven't got heat metering it uses the Carnot COP equation for the heat pump to simulate the heat output um, it uses the flow temperature and the outside temperature to essentially calculate that COP it then multiplies that COP by the uh, electricity consumption to estimate the heat output so I'll just enable that here and so we can see here that this it, it calculates a simulated COP for that period to be four and then but we actually calculate we actually measured the COP to be four point three in that in that particular example. So if I look uh, over um say the last day in the example here, we've got a simulated COP of three point eight and actual COP of four. I'll go to a period which has more space heating, maybe here in May. So simulated COP 4.4 and actual measured COP 4.3. It works surprisingly well, really. Um, and yeah, it can give you just that in insight. If you don't have the heat metering installed, you can you can use that to just get an idea of how how efficiently your heat pump might be running. 
So that's it for a quick overview. Uh, thanks for watching.